Welcome back, boys and girls, to the Audible Show. This is uh, Dark Valentine 1984 coming right back at you. Um, I'm here again to uh, make this little tutorial that I kind of discovered, you know, by accident. It was really something of a thing that I was trying to work with. But uh, I found out that it could prove very useful to those who want to get started into uh, Mugen character creation but have to deal with sprite sheets now before I get started let me say a little something yeah I know it's been four days probably four or five days since the last tutorial but the same rules for that one pretty much it goes for this one too so uh, if you got a complaint please keep it to yourself don't post it on my comments box where I can see it don't even PM me about complaints that you may have the same goes for any jokes that you might have aside from the last one going to this one so uh, since we're gonna keep all that clean let's get started with this tutorial okay now you've always wanted now for those who are getting started or is into mutant creation for characters and just started you've had to deal with sprite sheets you know such as uh, this one right here you probably had to uh, deal with them appearing on the screen like this let me rearrange it here so you can see uh, you've probably had to deal with them all on one sheet just like this as you see that's uh, pretty annoying isn't it you have to you have to cut each one you have to you know put them yourself and when you get ready to cut them and you open fighter factory you notice that what you use cut is just gonna display itself on fighter factory and you gotta go through all kinds of hell trying to get this stuff aligned perfectly to what you had to cut well this tutorial that I'm making here is gonna solve this problem so when you do have to use Mugen Character Maker or Fighter Factory to create your character you'll be able to have perfect axis alignment and you're gonna do that beforehand before you stick it in either one of those programs you're gonna align them perfectly in the editing program that you have and we're gonna use GIMP for this one as you probably have noticed so uh, let's get started first thing first we're gonna open we want to take one sprite pick any sprite that you've cut from the sprite sheet because you're gonna have to do this first I'll go into my folder and uh, I'll just choose one uh, uh, let's just say I just choose one of the uh, the uh, hmm, the jumping animations that I cut okay I'll just any one of them could be fine I'll just choose one Okay, and I'll load it up on the GIMP, and uh, let me uh, straighten it out here. Now, as you notice, I have this cut. This is how it looks. This is what this is how it looked when I cut it from the sprite sheet. But I don't want this. I want it to be on a bigger, you know, a bigger thing without actually stretching this image. But I need to keep the color like this hot pink or whatever color that the sprite sheet was put on is the same color just make sure that your sprite sheet isn't white or isn't black because uh it can ruin your transparency that way because sprites already have an outlined uh, black line around them anyway anyway since I want this hot color here hot pink or whatever color that my sprite came the sprite sheet background was I'll just open the GIMP and I'll pick the uh pick colors from image tool or press O okay and then I'll just pick that image and I'm gonna close it once I pick the color I'll just simply <sighs> minimize this for the moment at least for the meantime now that my color has been picked it's gonna appear here in my foreground color this is what I want as a foreground I don't want background I'm gonna have my background remain as it is I once I notice that it's there, well, once I notice that it's there, I'll click on File. I'll click on New, and I want my image for this to be 
384. Let me uh, move to the middle so you can see here. I want it to be 384 by 224. Now notice why I'm doing this. Okay, This is the dimensions of height and width that emulators will use when you have to take a snapshot from an emulator. But another reason why is because I want my sprites at this particular one. Now I'm not saying that you have to do it exactly like this, but if you want optimal axis alignment, then you want to do it at this high width and height. That's just me saying it. You don't necessarily have to put it at that, but you can. Okay, now that you got that, you can go ahead and paste it. And you see I still got my uh, my background like this. And once you create that new image at 384 by 224 you'll open up GIMP and you use the uh, fill color tool or the paint bucket tool and you'll just fill it in alright now once you have it filled in and that's the color of the background that your sprite sheet was on you may want to go ahead and save that so just go ahead and save it if you need to you can just go to you know, save as. Uh, we're not gonna make a name for it. We'll just uh, we'll back it out here, and we'll just name it as uh, yeah. We'll just keep it untitled. Untitled. Dot. PCX. Okay, we'll just name it Untitled Sp you know, Sprite Sheet Color dot PCX. We're going to keep it just like that. Okay, and if it complains about transparency, since it can't handle that, just export it anyway. Okay, now we have our newly created Untitled Sprite Sheet Color. We're going to keep this window open as well. Okay, going back to the sprite that you took, you know, taking the color from you go ahead and bring that window back open okay when you bring that window back open you can go ahead and use your uh, magic wand tool to select contiguous regions and go back to it and you'll click on edit okay once you click on edit click on copy and once you do this you practically close this window you don't need it up anymore then go back to your uh, sprite sheet color that you just made click on edit click on paste and then click on any part of the outside of the box and there she is she is perfectly aligned in the middle once she's perfectly aligned in the middle you go ahead and you click on file you click on save as since it was uh, jumping I'll go back to my jumping folder and since it was the first picture I'll just click on it click on the name me uh, arrange it right here. I'll click on the name and I'll click on save. And it's going to ask me if I want to replace that image. And I'll still export it since it was on a transparent background, and since it is. Now, once I do that, I can just go ahead and do the next one. This is a real easy process, it's very simple. So I'm going to go ahead and do that with the first four animations for it. So uh, let's go ahead. I'm going to do that. Close that out. Open it. Open another one. We're just going to repeat the process. Since you see I have uh, four jump animations here. There are more, but this is for a neutral jump. So. We're going to go ahead and just open up the rest. I'm going to do the rest exactly like I did that other one. Okay. Okay. Edit. Copy. Close. Open. Paste. Magic wand. File. Save as. Jump. CX save, replace, export, and just 
press control Z on your keyboard to just undo and it brings it right back to what it's supposed to be and just keep repeating the process as many times as needed just keep dragging it on to the empty screen on GIMP it'll load itself as an image you can just uh, press edit and copy or control C close open it up again press edit paste or control V either one slap it on save as over the one that you just opened replace export undo repeat just keep repeating this process as many times as needed until you have all of the animations for that particular image or all images for that particular animation properly aligned they will have properly aligned themselves in the very middle of the screen of that image you know nothing extra needed just proper alignment if you do it this way and if you do it this way you'll have your images properly aligned in the same fashion in the same fashion as dream slayer sprite rips all right and his sprite rips are extremely perfect i mean they're they're damn accurate i like those sprite rips but for those of you who want those same perfect sprite rips in what you cut out of sprite sheets then this is the way to go about doing it you can do it this way and you can, you'll also have that perfect alignment and once you if you noticed once you uh paste your image it immediately positions itself in the dead center of that image just like that it's very easy you can have very perfect aligned sprites this way this way when you use stuff like fighter factory or Mugen character maker and you have to align the sprites on the axis at least when you when you just set up one all of the other sprites will just come together perfectly aligned with no problem and basically that's all there is to it as you see I'm still doing the same process open copy close go back to my previous uh, window that I have my sprite sheet color on paste save is you know overwrite save close and undo close just do this for as many animations that you have okay and that's pretty much it and once you run you know fighter factory or you can character maker you can go ahead and align them perfectly I suggest anybody who wants to learn how to make an SFF file the right way I suggest looking at the ends tutorial on this and I'll post the link for, to the video itself in the video description of this video so you'll actually see how to per how to properly align it in fighter factory yourself you'll also learn a little bit extra but I recommend watching his tutorial because I mean it's it's damn good it'll really help and this tutorial that I'm doing right now will also help you the new and soon to be Mugen character maker to have your sprites on an image that can be aligned properly without you having to cut everything else can be explained in the first part of VN's tutorial or agent 6 as he's normally called so I hope this really does solve everything for you I really hope it does and if you need to just keep repeating this process repeat this process for as many sprites as you have cut or that came from your sprite sheet and very soon you're going to be on your way to making the perfect access for your Mugen character without really much effort at all. Well, I hope this solves everything. So, uh, until the next time, boys and girls, this is Dark Valentine, 1984, signing out.